Hello, hi, it's Liz here. And hey, What Not fans, it's Sunday. So the little What Not book is out. And we are at What Not number 17. This was last week's. Did you give it a go? It's very cute. I just love it. <laughs> so this week we are going to do some paper weaving for this page. Um, yeah, I've already made a few. Super simple, but really quite effective, I think. Um, yeah, great for the little corner of a page. The usual whatnot thing. Uh, a two inch square. We're still on squares. And a couple of things just to decorate. I'm going to put three little things on mine because I think it's always good to just use odd numbers. So it's a two inch square. So we're going to cut it into half inch strips. So there's my two inch and I'm just going to move it down to the half inch notch and um, easily put it into strips of half an inch. And the last one is that one here. There. Easy peasy. And your second contrasting. Um, I used book pages for the other ones, but you can use patterned paper. Anything you fancy, really. Doesn't matter. I think everything looks good in this size. <laughs> so, and one inch. Obviously, if you don't have a paper trimmer, you can just use scissors just to draw a line at each half inch and cut them or just do it by eye. And that just slots in over there. So, the only thing we have to decide is which we this doesn't matter because it's uh, there's no writing but i quite liked my writing to be the right way up so i have to put the writing as the yeah the vertical ones because the writing's across the way yeah so but for this it doesn't matter i'm going to put my first vertical as the craft paper so we're just going to weave in and out. I have my brand new bottle. <laughs> You'll be glad to know the old bottle has bit the dust. Absolutely finished. So one little dab of glue. I don't glue all the strips the whole way down because once you've glued this first row, you really the other ones, the middle ones will be held in place. So we've glued that right at the very edge and we're going to turn it over and whoops, put another little blob there and then line that one up to the very top and butt it right against that one. As best as you can. It doesn't really matter if they're not entirely straight. <laughs> Mine weren't straight and I trimmed a little tiny bit off the bottom of one. And then we've turned it over again and we're going to put this right against the top and right against that pinky coloured paper or is it brown, browny pinky and then we're going to turn it over and oh they do does form a bubble I thought that my old one only formed a bubble because it was old and there was lots of air in it but that's brand new and it's still forming a bubble so that's our first row done now with the other ones I set it aside for a few minutes 
because if you start weaving and it hasn't entirely dried, then they can easily move. But I'm just going to have to go for it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we're on top of this end one. So we want to go underneath the end one. Then over the next one. And under that one and over that one excuse my sugarly hands because I'm trying not to move the first row and it's quite flimsy paper and then the opposite for that one and then you might have to nudge everything up a little bit to make room for this bottom one. And we're going to go under that one and over that one. And I'm going to just put a wee dab of glue on the bottom one, just to hold that in place. I'm probably making this look more fiddly than it actually is. And a little dab of glue under this one. There we are. So, really easy. Yeah, a little checkerboard. Okay, I've got just exactly the same on them all, but you could put a little butterfly, a button, um, a toadstool, a postage stamp, anything you fancy. So I've got two with the numbers on that side and one with the number on that side. So I just want to just overlap my three things. So I've got that and make it slightly different from the number five and put the red little label up a little bit. Move this down a bit and then we'll put our word across there. So we just need to put a little dab of glue on that. So I have a little giveaway on the go at the moment. A nice spiral bound journal. Um, if you have a look at the video you'll find out all about it. And these are stickers. Down the way, I think. Yes, it's a nice little journal. I had fun making it. Now, let's see. These are absolutely ancient, authentic, I don't even know. 2011, so 10, 12, 12 years. 12 years ago. <laughs> Happy. What have I got? Unique, beautiful, explore. There's Happy. Where was Happy? I saw it a minute ago. This is like a, a word search. Where did Happy go? Hmm. There it's there. Happy. <laughs> and we're just going to put Happy up there. There we are. So, let's see. Happy's nice. I like with the writing. 
but I think maybe against the music background and the writing, the writing doesn't show up quite as well and I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll put that one there, but I'm going to leave it just now till I take my photograph because I'm forever doing that. I stick things in the book and then I've got still got to take my photograph. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now and um, I think I need to retie that. It's coming, it's coming a little bit loose. Because it's a no sew journal, so the pages are just in that you can remove them if you want, which is pretty good. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's this week's what not number seventeen, and um, maybe next week we'll change uh, the shape. Not sure yet. See how how the the ideas come. And um, remember, check out the giveaway. Um, it's a nice wee journal. This it's up for grabs. It's very cute. Lots of room in it for you to make it your own. And um, yeah, so check out the giveaway. And um, thanks for joining me. And um, if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.